charity organization that provides free horse riding lessons to children and, children and adults of all disabilities. We teach people with disabilities to ride to the best of their abilities. My role at SADA is to teach the child um, to ride. I try to impart what I learn as an able-bodied rider. I try to impart that they learn to actually ride a horse. The movement of the horse is unique, so it can't be mechanically reproduced. So it, can, it stimulates balance reactions within the human body. The rider gets exercise without actually being aware that their body is being exercised. Some children have um, quite severe spasticities and physical limitations, joint limitations. Their bodies can't move like your, yours and mine, so where's the movement of the horse? It moves their pelvis for them and pelvic mobility is vital for um, joints and the whole body. They have to think and plan because that's all part of the whole thing, so it's not only the movement that they benefit from, but also using their brains to plan where they're going to go and what they're going to do. When Caitlin came to Sada, she couldn't talk. She was in a little buggy and she needed three people to help on the horse. You know, when she was on the horse, to walk, to hold her side and things like that. She could not walk independently. Um, she is able to walk. I have noticed that in the school holidays and the times when Caitlin doesn't have riding, then she becomes, um, for want of a better word, lump. Horse riding has definitely, definitely, definitely benefited her. Well, it's quite often the physical change where you get improved posture and balance, more of a reaction from the rider where they are more amenable to interaction with other people and other riders. Over the years, I think that's the main thing that is, I've seen improve with him, his confidence. He feels much more secure, um, even amongst people, it's something which he, which he didn't have before. So that confidence really builds up. And I think it's being on this big horse and being in control of its patience, um, that's something as well he learned because, you know, he's got to follow instruction. Um, they also taught that they need to hug the horse and things to, so that was his, it's, he's taught also to be more caring. I think emotionally it's very beneficial because they form a bond with this horse and the horse with them um, and it's an unconditional bond. They don't have to give the horse anything. They don't have to, uh, there's no payback from the child. The child's not expected to deliver anything. The child's just expected to be kind to the horse and so therefore the horse is kind to them. When I ride I feel free. Why, why do you like Sada? Uh, I go, go on the horse. Who's your favourite horse? Um, blue. <laughs> Why do you like blue? Because he's kind. He's kind. Because he's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Which horse is your favourite horse here? Um, I'm blue. I'm blue. Yeah, yeah. Why is he your favourite? Um, because I rode him for a long time. Um, he's the most famous pony in Sada and, and he's very sweet. What's your favourite thing about horse riding? It's challenging physically. I just think they're like really beautiful creatures. My favorite thing is uh, being with the horses and, and talk to them. It almost feels like at Sardou we like a family. I think the horses are absolutely incredible. They're so um, in tune with their riders and in tune with the needs of their riders. But um, they are so tolerant and persevering and giving and loving. I certainly um, feel a lot for these kids and often will go out of my way to, to help these children who are disabled but are actually quite enabling in their um, outlook in life and um, certainly teaches me a lot of life lessons. The only way you can really make a difference is through children. To be able to build the self-esteem of a child you are making an impact on the world. Corny as it sounds, children are the future. And it's the only way we can make a difference.